was little. Ooh, because I used to hold you like, oh, look at my little baby. My little ugly baby. The one that looked like a baby monkey. What's going on, family? So today I am back with another. Yes, I'm is. I am here. I'm gonna give y'all a quick backstory, okay? Way back when um, my daughter was a baby, baby. I mean, like this little. Shut up. When she was about that, about that big. She probably actually was about that big. You was little. Ooh, because I used to hold you like, oh, look at my little baby. My little ugly baby. The one that looked like a baby monkey. She ignored me. Any hootin' kid any. Um, way back when she was little, I had made a YouTube channel. And my YouTube channel was all about reviews. Nothing but reviews. Only reviews. And then I forgot that password, and then I stopped doing it. And then that YouTube channel is just, I don't know where. So, I restarted another YouTube channel, and you're on it. How are you? I'm well. Anyway, so, I am back with an original, which is a review. How about it, okay? And this review is on something that you would not expect. Yes. It's a door lock. A door lock, door knob, whatever you like to call it. But it's a knob, okay? It's from Geek Smart. And it is very smart. You wanna know why? Cause it's a fingerprint. And it's easy to use. The model is LB201. And no, I am not being sponsored. I am not an ambassador. I am not being paid anything whatsoever. But we like the lock. It is a fingerprint. It is one touch. And it is auto lock. And it's easy to put in. And it's so easy. I'm about to show you how to do it. You ready for it? Anyway, it comes in this little sleek modern box. Which I like so much. No, seriously. I really do like the box. It's the little things, people. It's the little pe things. They do send it well protected. How about that? Mm hmm I already opened the box, so don't be expecting to say it exactly how it was. But, um, obviously you got your user manual. And then, I'll take these out, because we need those. But, this is the basics of the box, okay? And the latch is already put in, because I already did that. How about that? But, um, in all seriousness, this box is dope. Your first two um, fingerprints you put in is the administrator uh, fingerprints. Um, obviously, that means you can add whoever and take whoever off that you want. You don't have to. You can reset the whole thing. To, you literally can reset it to where you start over again if you want. That way, it wipes everybody away. You know that whole ordeal so um let's say if you had a next man or ex-woman that you wanted to get the hell out your house and you don't want her or him to be able to come back in you just reset your goddamn lock so they can't how about it you know all right so we about to put this lock in okay i'm sitting so scrunched down it's not even funny because i'm doing this to show y'all how to do this anyway all right, so you got your usual manual. You actually put it in the same way you do an average lock, okay? The same way. The only difference is... The only difference. Hold on, I'm going to get it out. I'm going to get it out. I'm going to show you. The only difference is... All right, hold on. Let me put the rubber gaskets back on. All right, the only difference is the wire. Literally, that's it. It's the only difference. You thread it through here. 
okay? So when you thread it through, this is what it looks like, okay? You have your wire hanging out, and I don't know about y'all, but I like doing puzzles, and basically, you fit it, and then you keep it pushing, you ready? All right, so after you fit it, you plug in the wires, Make sure you hold your lock though. Don't just let the lock hang. All right, make sure you plug it all the way in. You see how I plugged it in? All right, so to do this, you basically really only need a screwdriver, but you put your um, screws in because you're going to have to line them up with the holes that's on the other side. Now, I like the look of the rubber gasket, but it's getting on my goddamn nerves. Anyway. Alright, so you see how you have leftover wire? You push it into this, the little hole right here, because the square has to reach the other square so you basically push it in line it up then you get rid of the screw <laughs> alright you start screwing the screw in Don't ask me why I have a long bit on my screwdriver. Just mind your business. It's actually kind of smart to do it this way, though, because shorter screwdrivers will keep bumping into it. It's annoying. Unnecessary. So I'm screwing till you get the squeak. Okay, my door opens and it closes. Opens and closes. But anyway, all right, so you have the one push just to either keep it to where it is always open and or if you want it always closed. So let's see. The door has been closed. That means I have to use my fingerprint every time I want to come in or the door is always open. Please open the door. That way I don't have to use my fingerprint. If by chance you don't want to give somebody access to your door with their fingerprint, you could use the key. Which I need one second to go get. You can use your keys. Now it comes with a set of two keys and it also has a pin key. You would use that pin to stick into this hole which touches the settings button and then scan your fingerprint until it 
have you left in um to have you left your finger as if you were setting your your thumbprint from your cell phone it's a sequence of six times and the first two people are the administrators of the doorknob so the people that you know for sure is going to always be in your home and or somebody you could trust <laughs> those are the two people that you should put first and then you can add other people obviously if you have a house full of seven people like i do my husband and i we could add whoever we want if we don't want somebody to have it sorry for you but i'm not though just to be honest but anyway this is a good doorknob to have on bedroom doors you could do it on your house door a lot of people are using the number code thing of a thing we have one too but i don't think this is a bad idea either you know what i'm saying um you can always use a micro fiber cloth to wipe the sensor off that way um if you're having trouble using your fingerprint obviously you wipe it off it should open up easier for you it's easy to add people so if i wanted to add somebody right now i will hold my thumb on the scanner so this is the sensor what i would do is i would hold my finger on the sensor for about 10 seconds and then it is a um, at fingerprint and the other person touches it and then voila you have access to the door I am so scrunched down I look like Oompa Loompa <laughs> I don't even care alright um yeah that's the doorknob I actually like it a lot and it's easy to put in it's fast to put in can't nobody really complain, and if they do, they're liars. The only way there can be a malfunction is if the wire's fucked. So, I don't know. Oh, that's a good thing to talk about. Alright, so you don't want your door not, though. You don't want the sensor to be in direct sunlight, because that could affect the sensor. You also don't want to have your hands to be too oily too dry or wet because that will affect the sensor it won't be able to properly read your god dang fingerprint common sense though you should already know that i shouldn't have to tell you that i'm sure i shouldn't have to tell you that you ain't stupid ain't none of my family stupid right some of y'all might be but we gonna leave that alone Now, but all seriousness, this, this lock is actually pretty dope. Um, so, like I said, if you ever wanted to reset the lock completely, then hold the pin in for about five to six seconds. And it'll reset everything and you start again. The administrator's fingerprints also. So, keep that in mind, parents. If you're trying to lock your kids out of something. Other than that, I don't have nothing else to say about it. I think it's a dope-ass lock, though. I don't know if I said it in the beginning, but all you need is a screwdriver. Literally, that's it. You just need a Phillips head screwdriver. The Phillips head screwdriver to install, and it's that simple. That's basically all I got to say about this dope-ass lock. If you want to try it, you should. Other than that, I don't know, guys. I do have another review coming up, so uh, I need to get on that. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Comment, like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. That way you're notified every time I drop a new video. And yes, I mean. Every time. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you in my next one. Deuces.